Uh, welcome everybody. I'm sat here in a wooden hut with dubious structural integrity about to watch the final at the 2023 Fleetwood Waterloo Ladies Trophy. The final is a bit of a family affair. Battle of the Koenigs, Shannon and Emily will be starting in well as soon as as soon as Shannon gets there. It's been a well a typical autumn day I suppose. Up here in Fleetwood. Wet windy. Wind's been a slight gale. It's changed. If I just show you the flag that's been blowing around, the flag's uh, veered slightly from a more easterly direction to a, a southeast. It's probably more south now. Than we, I'd be official to go south southeast rather than east southeast. But it's freshened up slightly, and it's. Um, been more than capable of blowing people over. So I say, a family battle. Referee Evan Hastings done a grand job as usual. Playing up. It nearly makes connection but doesn't. This game's 21 up off five. And it's first points to Emily. And the card marker. Who's doing a grand job? and then Woody knows in the final. Get back to the action. If I can work this thing. It's freshening up and it's starting to affect the bowls to be honest. It's at least affecting some deliveries. One more. Turn Not a lead to be proud of. Up the hill from basically the start playing. To the crown. Of 
from my point of view, doing filming or whatever, there's a slight concern about how dark it's been there. Uh, starting to get some more dark clouds come over. say about this game is that I don't think they'll be caught in a battle because to be fair neither of them have played that type of game today. Both played a reasonably similar game, not got more than 25 yards or so. But they both led extremely well. few hardy souls left watching. It was quite a decent turnout first thing. The seating area was all full and you could everybody was standing under the lean to there. It was about 20 degrees warmer over there than it was on the other on the other side of the green. with me. I'm sorry, I'm getting old. I lost count some time ago. Eight, nine. Is it being streamed live? Or? It is live. Is it live? Live on Tinterweb. Oh, right. If you go onto the Bowls Observer YouTube channel. Bowls Observer YouTube channel. Yeah. You'll hear me talking absolute rubbish. <laughs> I'll find it. it. I want to tell my mum, you see. Yeah, live cup, as long as my phone doesn't pack in. Yeah. Bowls Observer. Yeah. 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 So that's nine across. Thank you very much. Back to the action. I'll go back into me to me shed. Just stop when you want to explore okay? Right. from Shannon but Emily stepped in. It only go and probably just under 25, 28 yards maybe, maybe even maybe even I stick my head that and say 30 yards, but certainly no more than that. Sister, yeah. Yes. yes. 18 months older. Right. Yeah. I thought you had that the right way round. I thought I'd best check on the front. Thank you. 
well, Shannon saved with a ball that wasn't really going to do anything else other than save on its own, but apparently. Mark to the middle of the green. Everything uphill. It was a good ball from Shannon, but Emily's lifted it. Imagine the ball would beat us to over on that last ball. Almost like that. 13-9. First to 21. Just a reminder for everybody watching. If you want to relive this video, then it'll be in the live section of the channel's content on the content page. What I've got to do when when the live stream is finished and YouTube does its own little processing of whatever it needs to do. All I'll have to do is uh, make it available. It saves it as a private thing and then it goes public and it'll do something like that. It's all a bit complicated. Playing like basically across the across the way. Used to go tight, look away dramatically towards the ditch. We can just give it a bit more. It just hangs out for you and doesn't do anything. for two. Shannon's picked one up. And this doesn't look like it's anything other than the back bow was on and the back bow was on. Yeah, this is questions being asked at this crown green, it most certainly is. Here at the Fleetwood Bowling Club in the northwest of England. What feels today like a Coast. Long tapes have been called. This is just to check that it's uh, over the minimum required distance of 19 meters.
Have you, did, you, did you find the channel? Um, I've sent it to my mum. I haven't ah. got that. Let me have a look. Oh, Organiser Mark Mills with one end. Referee. Good effort from Emily, just pegging that on the narrow side. Size two. Emily's having a fire at these, trying to clear everything off. towards the club. Probably just finished a couple of foot past. That one's given up. on the back ball. Played on the back ball, probably would have counted two, just missed it, just pegged. on according to evening. Yeah. Sorry, Shannon's second bowl is on go. Not in the count. So Emily's propped her own too far really. on but There, there's probably a yard over. And Emily, no, first would have caught to the referee. I'm 
what he do with this. Not one a little closer. Up there on in. 14 15 is full play now. And we have a change of tactic. Dodgy sheds trying to keep up the wind. Just let me get settled. No, oh, Emily short ball. Shannon stepped in with one couple of foot away. Emily's second ball just entering the picture. Good to good one. One more to Emily. Fifteen across. Emily's a four foot short, Shannon's wisely thought, make sure I'm there, it's gone two yards too far, heading into, well the, that's actually playing due south, from the north corner to the south, what would be a corner if, if it was a corner. Family. Emily took the uh, the tactic, flashing the younger sister out. Rain drops are falling. And over that distance, that's a fair old lead. The problem being, well, the benefit of being over this side is the quieter side of the green, so. Commentary is a little bit easier, but it is. I am facing into the wind, so if it does start raining, it's going to come in horizontal. Emily's chucked the second one off. At the moment, yeah. Still on no one, who's to who's on? Go. Oh. Sorry, I'm having slight problems with me setup.
come into the corner of the rickety shed. One to sh what? 17s. I'll come into the corner of the, corner of the rickety shed. is falling and it's coming down at an angle of something like 45 degrees. from Shannon. Almost sat on it. Almost being the most important word. One more, 18, 17. First to 21. There, we could be done and dusted and then two ends. Trying to hold everything steady because the winds. Whipping it through, whipping through. to Emily, 18s. Maintain on the tactic of taking our kid in the corners. Oh, excuse me. A shopping bit of camera work. I've got one of those gimbal stabiliser things and it's got like a little joystick and it's it's not not going well, not going well at times. Emily wants to make contact with that ball. So Shannon flies one. Had room to go for another, but get one short ball 1918 so you think of peg mark along the pub edge again Just behind the jack, certainly within a foot or so. And then we give up. Um, 
one to two for game, but you're not going to be an in, interesting result if you get to two with, with that second ball. Shocker better come and work again. Just don't for this gimbal thing likes the weather. Measures of required. The rain drops are getting bigger. It's always nice to know, especially when I've got to walk back to the car in a minute. I think I've parked. I parked the walk into the wind on the way back, so it's going to be nice. And this must be a tight measure because the Evelyn's not made the decision yet. One to Shannon. All but 2018. as well to be honest. Five foot short. Okay. Good reply for my money. Length bowl probably 18 inch to the side. Shannon didn't want to make connection with her own bad, bad lead. Now, Emily, chance, chance for two here. Good in. Twenty across. send the jack but it will be a long so the long jack available into the far corner the clubhouse corner if he wants to do that tactic and she does Probably four or five foot short. And then Shannon's licked it with a length bowl. A couple of foot to the side of the jack. This is struggling. Oh dear. And we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. 2120, Shannon Koenig.
station right away. Are they doing the press? Oh, I'm going to that just be a presentation involved. Ah, I believe quite wisely the presentation is going to be indoors. So, well done. Stagger over and maybe lose signal inside. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Uh, this should be the final of uh, the Fleetwood Waterloo Ladies Trophy. And the score was 21 20. Shannon Koenig has beat her sister Emily. An excellent final, an excellent day. And thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen.